Jesus is the author of life and death. Jesus is the author of life and death. Hello, Christina Rezzo. Thanks for tuning in to this video, and I hope you all are doing well and staying as healthy, and um, by the grace of God, we are all here. Things that we take for granted as far as oxygen, okay? So uh, you see the title of the video, but before I get into that, this unfortunate story, sudden story, don't forget to like, share the video with your friends, and subscribe. So we have uh, <clears throat> an unfortunate patriot who passed away last night. Um, and you know the uh, the duo that were super Trump supporters since 2016 called Diamond and Silk. So in case you don't know who these beautiful ladies are, I have their book and um, uh, she's the lady uh, uh, on your left, uh, I believe my right, okay, in black. So I actually read this book before Candace Owens' book. Okay, don't tell anybody. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's unfortunate that this patriot um, passed away suddenly. She was 51 years old. She was called Diamond. Um, I was subscribed to both their Rumble and uh, YouTube channel. Now it's, um, you know, you, you they didn't have a set schedule whenever they went live. I believe their last video was the 17th, a few days before Christmas. And in one of her former videos, I believe last uh, late last month, no, not last, late in November, I think around the 17th of November, um, her voice uh, was fading, so she was having problems with that. So um, you can tell something was going on. Uh, with that. Now, they don't know the exact cause of death. Um, now she passed on. Um, I believe she's with the Lord Jesus. Um, she knew who he was. Uh, but at the end of time, uh, he's the only one that um, knows for sure where she's been in eternity. So that's why I began the video the way I did. Now, um, what's disturbing, first off, the way I found out about the story was from another black uh, YouTube content creator. I don't believe she shared these ladies' political views, but uh, she was very respectful of how she announced it, and I was just shocked and clicked on, and then from on, uh, others, um, Charlie Kurt on his show this morning um, made the announcement. Um, I don't know about Candace Owens yet. Um, I'm sure she will acknowledge it in her podcast. Um, uh, black conservative perspective as well. Um, our condolences to her family. Uh, her sister, Sip, uh, Rochelle Hardaway. I can't remember what her, uh, her married name is, uh, but I'm sure she's taking it hard. I don't know if she's going to persevere and continue on the legacy that they started for several years. Um, I hope and pray that she does. Um, I'm sure not right away. She needs some time, but she was usually the backup lady. Whenever uh, Diamond would say something, Silver, that's right, that's right, uh-huh, mm-hmm. And she would say a few things, especially uh, uh, their show on Newsmax as well. Uh, I can't, uh, it wasn't Uprising. If you all remember the name of the, the show, it came on at 6.30 on Saturdays. Um, it was something patriotic, uplifting, uh, something like that. Um, when they say the 211, um, there are two of us, you know, Diamond was said, it's two of us, and Silk was saying, we're the ones giving it to you, that show. It's at the tip of my tongue. I hate that when I can't remember anything. But um, these ladies were a great blessing. I mean, God used them, her, in this specific time at the right time. Now, believe it or not, Trump was the 
the main one that actually announced it. I think it was just too hard for Silk to, because, I mean, they were close. That was her, her blood, yeah. And, um, yeah, it's, it's really a sad time. I, you know, I got emotional a little bit. And looking back at their Rumble videos and that, um, and what's so intriguing, you know, so young at 51 years old. Now, of course, liberals are making a big joke out of it. I, I don't understand what's so funny about someone's death. Simply because you disagree with their political views? I mean, are you serious? Just heartless people. Now, one of them had a blood clot, and this person survived that. They called himself. I mean, he's on his Twitter page. I won't mention who he is because he's really not worth this video. None of them are. Okay. Just like the the NFL family that contribute to this Demar guy. I'm not a Buffalo Bills fan, but I'm not gonna. I mean, even if it were someone of uh, Minnesota or Detroit that's within the division that I of the team I support, I'm not gonna celebrate and gloat because this person uh, passed on or is seriously ill. You know, these people really need Christ, and you know, if they do, I, you know, I question their salvation. I really do. But, um, you know, I just wanted to make this brief and uh, going back again, uh, you know, when they were on the Lindale TV, uh, it was usually Tuesday evenings when I would catch them live. Um, and that would be around my bedtime, take my quick shower, listen to them and, and then go to bed. I mean, that was entertaining, but lately um, I haven't really seen them live. I believe one of the last few people that they interviewed was Laura Logan. I've done stories on her uh, over a year ago about uh, her position on the border and trying to flag this lady, this hardcore journalist. But I sure our Fox News friends, before I go into Fox, no, they never worked for Fox News. I don't know why people keep saying that they got fired. Same as Stacey Dash. They had the same lies about her. Uh, maybe she filled in as an anchor woman or something, but she never actually worked there. It was like Tammy Bruce um, every now and then, or uh, uh, Trey Gray, um, or uh, Judge Janine uh, that used to fill in, but they never actually worked for Fox. I mean, well, Judge Janine is with the Five now, but Diamond and Silk never worked for them. But, um, uh, you know, uh, prayer and condolences to the flag, uh, family, excuse me, flag. family once again. I know Silk uh, Rochelle was so hurt that she's missing her sister. But uh, we lost another one. Uh, King Face was the previous one. Herman Kane was another one. Um, so um, keep these people and uh, their families and our prayer and Again, you never know um, uh, when the Lord say, okay, your time has expired here. Okay. Let's not take our lives for granted. You know, that's why, you know, I'm, I'm doing this. It may not be much, but uh, as a patriot, the Lord put this on my heart for close to two years now. And it will be two years uh, in March when I started my podcast. So, um. Once again, Christina Red So, thanks for listening. Pray for our nation and our brothers and sisters under the persecuted church. And our condolences once again to the uh, Hardaway family. And as I close, or have closed since yesterday, may the Lord bless you, keep you, and his light shine upon you. And I'll talk to you as soon as I can.